this YouTube channel. I'm Kat, sharing two times a week, every Monday and every Thursday. And welcome to this practice. It's a wake up practice, short, sweet, nutritious, and setting ourselves up for a vibrant and graceful day. So gather all of your yoga kit and we'll come and meet in Vajrasana on the mats. Pulling the sit bones apart. Rolling those front shoulders back, feeling the collarbones lengthen. And closing the eyelids over the eyeballs. Finding our breath. but not forcing it or being ambitious with it. Just watching it, feeling it. And at the same time, maintaining that connection, the pacification of the skin, of the eyes, the ears being drawn inwards, the lower jaw hanging from the top jaw, the tongue resting on the lower palate. All of the senses of perception being drawn inwards, receding, coming within ourselves, maintaining all of that as we find the breath, as the breath becomes more regular, even. Dispersing that evenness through the system. The mind following that evenness, getting deeper, turning with it. And now folding the palms together. Keeping the face completely passive, innocent, and starting together with one arm. Inhaling. Oh. Continuing now in Yoga Mudra Sandha Jasan with this connection to the senses of perception receding and staying quiet. Let's go ahead and stretch our arms forward. Noticing the breath. Using the exhale to help us recede more and more. And yet stretching the arms dynamically. Pushing the sit bones back, directionalizing. Feeling that new length, that new broadness. Walking the hands forward, walking the ribs forward on the front thighs. And now coming up onto the hands and knees, separating the knees and then aligning the hands, and now turning the fingertips towards you, and moving the hips back, stretching into the inner arms, into the palms of the hands, exploring, noticing, keep relaxing the eyes, keep relaxing the ears, having a smooth and even breath. And then turning the hands forward, preparing for Adho Mukha Coming back, keep looking between the hands, keep the knees bent for now. 
Stretching the arms, feel the length coming. Make the elbows firm, make the wrists firm, make the knuckles firm. And now begin to straighten the legs, keeping the heels lifted, unfolding, straightening the legs, feeling the length come to the back of each leg. Lifting the sit bones higher, pushing the front thighs back, and then on the next exhale, slowly lowering the head, softening the cervical spine, softening the brain, softening the expressions on the face without losing any of that vitality. Keep pushing the front thighs back, lifting the sit bones higher, firming the joints and having a soft, smooth and even breath. And now bring the feet closer towards each other and set the right leg forward to a nice wide lunge. Propelling ourselves forward and backwards. Feeling that back foot opening. Feeling the thighs, feeling the groins. Waking up to all of that. And then the back knee to the ground. Coming onto the forearms, deepening towards the earth. With an exhale, release all the tension in the face and the shoulders. Going with gravity towards the ground. And then rising back up, keeping the buttocks going towards the ground. Turn to the right, towards the bent leg. Bend that back leg and reach with your hand for the foot. Feeling the front thigh. Breathing into that space. What is the shape of the breath in the front thigh? Visualize the front thigh lengthening, flattening to the bone as you draw the foot closer and closer. And then relax the face completely from all effort, from all reaction. And releasing. Chaturanga, starting from plank pose, Stabilize, draw the navel up to the lower back. Charge the legs, squeeze the inner knees tightly. And now slowly coming down, keeping the elbows in towards the ribs. Holding Chaturanga here. And then back up and finding Adho Have a soft, smooth inhale and a soft, smooth exhalation, placing ourselves deep within. Pushing the shins back, squeezing the knees tightly, pushing the front thighs back. Extending the spine. Pressing the shoulder blades into the upper back. And lengthening the cervical spine, lengthening the neck. Feeling the skull soften its grip around the brain. Checking the face, the eyes, the ears, the mouth. And now bring the feet a little bit closer together and step the left leg forward to a nice wide lunge. Propelling ourselves forward and backwards. Easing out that right foot, the toes, our connection to the earth as we walk, as we stand. Then bending the back knee, placing it on the mat and exhaling towards the ground. Clearing the tension from areas where we tend to hold, the shoulders, the neck, checking there for areas that are holding on, releasing, receding. The face quiet. Going with gravity towards the ground. And then rising back up and turning towards the bent leg. Bending the back leg and reach for the front of the foot. And greet the front of the thigh with this long, smooth inhalation and a long, smooth exhalation. 
Feel the breath in that area, in that shape. Looking for parts that are still holding on. Visualize the muscle lengthening and flattening towards the bone as you bring the foot closer and closer. And then check in with the face, the eyes, the ears, the tongue, pacifying. And exhale and releasing and back to Adho Mukha Svanasa, Downward Dog. In this Downward Dog, we're going to try to press the heels down to the mat. So if you need to bring the feet a little bit further forward to help that, then step them forward. So looking at the feet, pressing the heels down, but lifting the inner arches. Try to repress the heels down to have density there. So they're really pressing into the mat. The toes are lifting and the inner arches and inner ankles are lifting. They're not collapsing in as we press the heels down. Long, smooth inhalation and long, smooth exhalation into the heels, pressing them down, connecting the breath to that point. And now pushing the shins back and see how that helps to densify the heels. Keep pushing the shins back, the lower shin, the middle shin, the upper shin, pushing them back and pressing the heels down. And exhale and bending the knees, keeping the toes turned under and coming to sit in Madrasana with the toes turned under. Press down, spread the toes, feel the point between the big toe and the index toe. Densify those into the ground, into the mat. And then releasing and come to the tops of the feet. We're going to come forward, forehead to the ground for some shoulder openers with the arms behind the back. So really focusing on rolling the front shoulders back so that we start to access the sternum, so that it starts to feel that it's spreading, the skin of the sternum is able to spread to the left and the right. So coming forward, bring the arms behind the back, interlock the fingers together and lift the arms up. Long, smooth inhalations and long, smooth exhalations. Check the forehead, is it pressing into the floor? Instead, try to have the forehead, the forehead be receding backwards. So it's the floor that's pressing the forehead backwards. And feel how that helps to open the shoulders more. Relax the cheeks, relax the ears. Keep lifting the arms up higher and higher. And now bringing the arms halfway down, we're going to change the interlock of the fingers and lift the arms back up again. Long, smooth inhalation and long, smooth exhalation. Keep rolling the front shoulders back, stretching the arms up. Now check the state of the forehead. See if you can feel that the floor is encouraging the forehead to move back and witness the opening, the melting of resistance in parts of the shoulders. Notice also how when the forehead recedes backwards, the jaw can really completely relax, the root of the tongue pacify into another state of letting go -ness. And then bring the arms back down and release and rest in child's pose. Soft, smooth inhalation. Soft, smooth exhalation. Relax the ears. Relax the sides of the neck. And then slowly, gently rolling up and releasing. We're now going to go stand up. A light series of standing poses. So facing the long edge of the mat in Tadasan. 
Establish the breath, pacify the face. Preparing to jump. And jumping. Utita Trikonasan on the right hand side. I'm doing the mirror image of you. Rolling the thighs open and away from each other. Pressing the tailbone forward. Lift and open the sternum plate. Inhale. And exhale, reaching to the right. Keep that length in the bottom waist before coming down and placing the webbing of the hand where it lands on the leg. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. Grip the leg muscles that pacify the face. All of the senses of perception receding inwards. And inhaling up and turning to the left. Grip the legs, move the tailbone forward, enliven the sternum plate. Inhale and exhale, reaching. Go with the idea of lengthening the bottom waist before coming down and placing the webbing of the hand where it lands. Have a long, smooth inhalation and a long, smooth exhalation. Re-grip the legs, the roots of the thighs firm as we turn and twist. And now check the pacification of the face. Where is there strain? Where can you relax more? turning back to face the long edge of the mat. Hands on the hips, elbows back, shoulders back, the sternum plate stretching, the skin stretching to the left and the right. Inhaling and exhaling, coming forward. Grip the legs as you come down, keep the legs firm, fingertips to the floor. Relift the inner arches of the feet, the inner ankles. And exhaling forward, finding Prasadita Pantanasana. Having a long, smooth inhalation, a long, smooth exhalation. Completely relax the neck, completely relax the skull. Keep lifting the trapezius muscles up so the neck is longer, freer, less congested. A long, smooth inhalation. A long, smooth exhalation. And then inhale, looking up and walking the hands to the right and reaching for the outside edge of that ankle and foot. And exhaling the head down. Grip the kneecaps up, grip the thighs up. Press into the outside edges of the feet to further widen the sit bones apart. As we turn and twist, a long, smooth inhale. A long, smooth exhale. And coming through the middle and to the left. Parivrita Prasarita Parotanasan. Maintaining the smooth and even breath. Gripping the legs. Widening the sit bones apart. Relaxing the throat, the jaw, the ears being drawn in towards each other, the eyes seeing but still receding to the back brain. And coming back through the middle and now turning the feet. So we're turning to the right for simplified Pashvotanasan, moving one hand onto each side of the front of the foot. Make sure your back thigh is really rolling in so your hips are really turning to the front of the mat. Try to straighten the legs, to grip the legs. Inhaling and exhaling, walking the hands forward. Lengthen the back of the neck, quieten the brain. Use the eyes to check that the body is doing what you intended to do, that directionalizing. Watching all of that at the same time, adjusting. The face still quiet, innocent.
and then coming back through Prasarita Palatanasana and walking the hands to the other side. Simplified Parsvottanasana. Check that the back thigh is really rolling in so that the hips can really face forward. Inhale. And exhale, entering into the depth of the pose, penetrating. The senses of perception receding. And yet the quality of attention, alert, rich. Having a long, smooth inhale, a long, smooth exhale, checking, adjusting, tightening that which needs to be tightened, softening that which needs to be softened. And then coming back through Prasarita Paratanasa, relift the arches of the feet, grip the legs, hands on the hips, inhaling up, elbows back, chest open. And turning the heels in, the toes in, the heels in, the toes in, and coming back to Tanasa. Have a soft, smooth inhalation, a soft, smooth exhalation. And coming down to the floor. Double pigeon pose, continue with hips a little bit. So the left leg is on the bottom, and the shin is parallel to the short edge of the mat, the mat edge of the mat in front of you. Right foot is coming up, you can build up until you get to a place where the outer ankle is here. If there's any knee pain, you can put some blankets in here, support, so that it has support, you don't want to strain that. And with an exhale, let's come forward into your Mudrasan. Long, smooth inhalations and long, smooth exhalations, walking the fingertips forward. Checking that the face isn't showing reactions, efforts, tensions. And now we're going to practice sending the breath to a specific area. And we're going to send the exhalation with all of its powers of pacification and release to the area where we feel the most tightness in our back hips. Keeping the breath even, streaming the exhale to the area of most congestion. Then coming back out and changing sides. Right leg on the bottom, shin is parallel to the front of the mat. Left foot coming on top, eventually ending up on the knee. Taking whatever supports we need. Long, smooth inhalation. And long, smooth exhalation coming into the pose. So even as the body is getting longer and we're stretching into it, the face is becoming quieter. The breath is becoming smoother. Penetrating more deeply. And now practicing sending the stream of that exhalation directly to the area of greater tightness. Keep the face completely passive. straight, right leg into Padmasam, taking time to move the calf out, widen the sit bones apart so you have a broad base from which to sit and not waver, to be firm, heel firm, densifying, inhale the arms up, 
getting length pacify the face and exhaling forward taking hold of the foot we're using a strap if the elbows are bent widen them to the sides don't let them drop down and feel that when you're riding the elbows the back muscles are broadening the back is broadening and when you're ready exhale the head down Quietening the forehead, the temples, the cheeks. Drawing the outer ears in towards each other. Long, smooth inhalations and long, smooth exhalations. bend this extended leg and as we bend it we lift the buttock up so that we can bring the other bent knee down. So Manichasana action we're working on opening the front foot coming forward and look how best to open the front foot. That pain is a healthy pain, that pain is a freeing pain. There are hundreds of little bones in the front foot we're on our feet all the time. So look for how to penetrate into that and release with the stream of the exhalation. Having a soft, smooth inhalation. A soft, smooth exhalation. Bringing the hands back out and releasing. Right leg now straight and left leg into Padmasana. Clearing the calf, placing the foot, trying to turn the toes back, widening our sit bones apart. This heel firm. Inhale the arms up, press the sit bones down and lift upwards getting more and more length, openness, broadness, and the soft, smooth exhalation coming forward, finding the foot, the strap, the floor, checking the elbows, not letting them drop down, lifting them up and feeling the corresponding broadness come to the back. And when you feel ready, exhaling softly, the head down, the brain quiet into the pelvis. Soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth exhalation. Relax the lips, the corners of the lips, relax the nostrils. Gently move the trapezius muscles down the back. And then re-emerging, coming back, we're going to bend this extended leg and as we bring the knee back down, we lift the right buttock up, opening the front of that precious foot with an exhale, sliding in, not shying away from that very particular pain. Finding a way to hold that space with the even, smooth breath cycles and to go deeper into that space. Soft, smooth inhalations and soft, smooth exhalations. And now check in with the senses of perception. What are the eyes doing? What are the ears doing? What is the tongue doing? And coming back out and releasing. 
both legs out in front of you, Paschimottanasana, widening our sit bones apart, feeling the very tops of the thighs slightly roll in towards each other to help the sit bones widen. And now make the sit bones sharp points, press them down. And as you press them down, lift the organs up, lift the pubic bone up, lift the belly button up, bring and energize the sternum plate, the heart, existing from that space, in that space. And then bring the arms in front and inhale and lift the arms up. Have a long, smooth inhale and a long, smooth exhale. Relax the throat, the effort from the face. And on your next exhalation, reaching forward, keeping that length. Keep relaxing the cervical spine as you come down. Grip the legs and reaching for strap or the feet. Checking the elbows, if they're bent, have them broaden. Move the trapezius muscles down the back. Feel the cervical spine get longer. Feel how the brain, the skull relaxes. And exhale and forward, Paschimottanasana. Long, smooth inhalation and long, smooth exhalation. Pressing the front thighs down, keeping the heels firm. Keep spreading the sit bones apart. Keep using the hands to pull, to lengthen the trunk, to lengthen the right waist, to lengthen the left waist. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. Pacify the entire face completely. twists. So stretching the arms out to the sides of the hands are in line with the shoulders. Firm arms, they're not just relaxing here. And then bringing the feet off the floor. The first preparation that we do, we purposefully move the calves away from the backs of the thighs so that we have as much as possible a 90 degree angle here. Inhaling, and exhaling the knees to the right so that they're in line with the hips. And then inhaling and exhale, turning and twisting to the left, away from the bent legs. Keep checking in with the neck, with the throat, with the face as we twist, continually pacifying. Feeling even the skin of the body receding Long, smooth inhalations and long, smooth exhalations. And then bringing the legs back up and feet to the floor. Realign ourselves, feet back off the floor, calves away from the backs of the thighs. Inhaling. And exhaling the knees to the left, in line with the left hip as much as possible. Long, smooth inhalation. And exhaling, turning and twisting to the right. Keep the arms vibrant. Keep the face passive, the throat passive. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. Looking for that quality of yieldingness. Even the skin fibers receding. And then bringing the legs back up 
and feet to the floor. Check your arms realigning, coming for preparation number two. Feet off the floor, this time we're leaving the calves close to the backs of the thighs. Inhaling and exhaling the knees to the right elbow. Inhaling and exhale, turning and twisting to the left, away from the bent legs. Re-soften the throat. Don't lift the chin up high away from the throat, which shortens the back neck. As you turn and twist, stay conscious of that length that we're looking for in the cervical spine that brings just softness in the brain. Relax the jaw from effort. Soft, smooth inhalation, soft, smooth exhalation. And then bring the legs back up and feet to the floor. Realign. One last one. Jatala Parivatanasana, preparation number two. Keeping the calves close to the backs of the thighs. Having a long, smooth inhalation. And with the exhale, bring the knees over to the left elbow. A long, smooth inhalation. And exhaling, turning and twisting away from the legs. As we breathe, keeping a close eye on the front throat and the possibility that if there's tension in the neck and shoulders, you jutted the chin up like this, which shortens the back of the neck and strains it. So keep drawing the chin to the throat, lengthening the back neck, softening the throat, pacifying the features. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. And then bringing the legs back up. And exhale and release it. Okay, we're now going to do three rolls where we roll the legs up to get the feet to the floor behind us. And then we unroll down with control. So really making sure that the belly button is connecting with the lower back. And then we'll do that three times. Ending with this. So here we go. Using the hands to help push. Rolling. You don't have to have the legs straight. Separate them. Bend the knees. See if your feet can touch the floor. Have a long, smooth inhale. A long, smooth exhale. Relax the front foot, relax the face. And rolling down now with control. One vertebrae at a time. And feet to the floor. Okay, ready for the second one. We're gonna hold it for a little bit longer. So rolling up. Finding the floor with our feet. You can bend the knees. Having a long, smooth inhalation. A long, smooth exhalation. Relax the front foot. See how much holding we do there. Let the right cheek float to the right. The left cheek float to the left. A long, smooth inhalation. A long, smooth exhalation. And gently unrolling. And feet to the floor. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Observe what feels different. And now for our third one. So hands connecting. And rolling up. Bringing the feet to the floor behind. Seeing if you can walk the feet further back by rolling the front shoulders back a little bit more. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. Don't resist with the back skull. Check that you're not doing that by gently drawing the chin towards the throat and then soften the cheeks, soften the eyes, soften the ears. 
long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. And beginning to gently unroll. One vertebrae at a time. And coming down. And feet to the floor. Last but not least, the final Sutta Parameshtasana. So we're going to bend our right knee, lift the foot up, and lift ourselves up to hold each side of the foot, and then straighten that leg. Have a long, smooth inhalation. A long, smooth exhalation. Relax the facial features, quieten the brain, but keep that leg alert, lengthening, broadening, coming closer. Hands then releasing and changing sides. Lifting ourselves up and holding onto each side of the foot. And then begin to straighten the leg as best as we can. Long, smooth inhalation and long, smooth exhalation. Relax the corners of the eyes, relax the corners of the lips. Pacify the brain completely, but keep that left leg coming closer, getting longer, being firmer. Long, smooth inhalation. Long, smooth exhalation. And then exhale and release. And we're going to roll over now and come and rest with our legs up against the wall in an inverted Shavasana. So if you have a blanket, nice to have that under the hips. Not necessary, just comfortable and gives a little bit of a lift. Hands coming in. Legs up on the wall. Adjusting. Now with your hands, roll each leg open to ensure that you're going to get as much as possible pacification in the abdominal area and in all of the organs and the groins. And then roll each shoulder back to ensure that as we rest, our sternum plate is broadening, our side ribs are broadening, and then gently closing the eyelids. No effort with the breath here. No effort at all. A state of complete pacification. Just receiving the pose, receiving the softness. Resting completely.
our journey from that state of peacefulness, of non-graspingness. Gently fold the palms together in front of the chest and ending with our loving kindness prayer. Loka Samastaha Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 And then gently releasing the hands allowing the eyelids to open. But even though they're looking out, still keep the eyeballs themselves receding. Have a long, smooth inhalation. A long, smooth exhalation. Observe the mind state. Observe the heart state. Slowly bending the knees so the feet are coming down the wall. And when you feel ready, just rolling over to the right. Still keeping the face completely passive, use the hands to push yourselves back up. Coming back to our mats, where we started. Just taking a few breaths to notice the difference. Feeling gratitude for that. And then gently re-emerging fully back into this world. Congratulations, our practice is complete. And I hope that your physicality feels opened and vibrant, that your heart feels sensitive, and that your brain feels quiet, and that there's peacefulness within the vibrancy. Namaste. See you again soon. Take care.